lights, camera. Action! Welcome to TU TV, our second episode. We're here with the Bonner Leaders, Bonner Scholars Program here at Tusculum University. And so let's get straight into it. Everyone introduce yourself really quickly. Tell us your class and your major starting. I'm Emily Brinton. I'm a freshman and I'm a criminal justice psychology double major. Emily, where are you from? I'm from Portland, Oregon. Yeah. I'm Kyler Johnson. I'm a junior here at Tusculum. I'm studying business management and I'm from here in Greenville, Tennessee. Great. My name is Michaela Toto. I'm from Kansas. I'm a sports science major and I'm a junior. Wait, did you say Toto <laughs> from Kansas? <laughs> One of the same. <laughs> it sounded like that. I'm Carmen Stoney. Um, I'm a sophomore and my major is nursing and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Hannah Johnson. I'm from here in Greenville, Tennessee, and I'm double majoring in political science and English. I know you guys can't see this at home, but this is the most chipper 8 a.m. group we, <laughs> that I think I've encountered in a long time, so I love it. So tell me someone quickly about what does being a Bonner's leader mean? Bonner leaders are, in my mind, we help bring the whole premise of what Tusculum stands for to the community where a civic engagement group, we each Bonner is individually required to do a certain number of hours in community service in different organizations and we have community placements which are kind of like volunteer internships that right. we do. Good. So what's the big project that you guys have worked on this year? Mine is Pioneer Pals. <laughs> oh, so it's different ones. Okay. So like different, we have a different yes. placement. I'm with the Upper East Tennessee Human Development Agency. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm with uh, the county schools of Greenville and I work with the nurses and I'll do like carrying the vision tests for the um, elementary schools. Right. And you guys always take some really cool trips, right? And this summer you guys went on a trip. Someone tell us about that. We all went to Costa Rica and it was amazing. We served with a group called Cross Cultural Solutions. So in the morning we went to a little tiny school in San Martin and we taught English, did like a hygiene. And then in the afternoon we did like cultural immersion. So it really puts it in perspective how fortunate we are in this country. Yes, absolutely. So and tell me about these blue bins behind us. I'm afraid they're going to fall over on me. So Ms. Courtney is also part of the CCA and we do a green team as well. So we have recycling bins all over um, in the different offices and the different buildings. I always like asking this question. If you could be one animal, what would you be? Flamingo. Flamingo. A shark. Shark. Okay. My favorite animal is Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'd definitely be a Christmas elf. A Christmas That's elf. That's not an animal. Reindeer. Reindeer. Yeah. What the reindeers? I don't know. I think I'd be a dog, honestly. A dog. Yes. Well, Can I be a lion? I'd be back <laughs> So what's the one unique thing that you love about Tusculum? I love how small it is and how all the faculty care about students. So I really like the view. The view <laughs> That's something it. something I've never seen before. You didn't have this mountain view in Chicago? I think I did, but it was just past it all was the skies. The lake. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the community aspect and I think Tusculum strives really hard to bring the community onto campus and even just the Tusculum community itself, like the friends I've made here I'm gonna have for a lifetime. So do you guys have any questions for me? You can ask anything you wanna ask. So where did you grow up? Like where are you from? So I grew up in the in East Kentucky, in what's called the Cove Fields of East Kentucky. Really tiny town. We did not even have a red light called Chab East Kentucky. So we thought green was small. Oh green no, green. this is maybe yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny. It was a great place to to grow up. How does it feel to have your oldest son, Ari, in high school? Or not high school, college. college. Yeah, we took him to, on his first college visit to West Point a couple weeks ago. And um, I don't know who cried more uh, inside, me or my wife. <laughs> and it was just like, wow, it's here. And so since the fourth grade, he's always wanted to go to West Point. And he wants to be something like a weapons design engineer, where he designs weapons to keep the country safe. So it's pretty incredible. West Point, it's like Tusculum. It's a, it's a unique mission, just an incredible place with lots of good people. Yeah, that was pretty tough because that means I'm getting old. <laughs> getting old state. So thank you for joining TU TV. We hope you enjoyed learning about our awesome Bonner Scholars Program and, and our Bonner's leaders on campus. They do a wonderful job of, of carrying out the civic engagement opportunities that persist not only on campus but in the community. So thanks for all that you do to raise the profile of Tuscaloosa University. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for you. all that you do.